Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the last two Wednesday episodes. Um, if you already want to see the last one, you can find it on my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find all my uncut reactions to Wednesday on there. So all my full reactions to the episodes. Yesterday I watched the previous two episodes. We had the one episode about the parents weekend. I love that one. And then the previous one was about... Okay, this is hard because I just added the fifth one, but not the sixth one. So the last one I saw was five, actually. Oh yeah, but six was about the one house. They went to investigate there and suddenly the monster was there. So that was weird and I really hope that we're finally gonna find out who the monster is. I mean, I'm gonna finish the season today. I have no idea if there's gonna be more seasons or not. But I hope they will at least give us the answer in these last two episodes. But I think they will. Let's just watch it. Wait, what's happening now? I enjoy funerals. I've been crashing them since I was old enough to leave. Oh, I was like, who died? Mayor Walker was murdered and I know the killer is here. Wait, he's dead? Oh my god. Okay, I did not see that coming. I thought he was gonna be fine. I just need to slot them into place. First I thought it was just a funeral she crashed as well then. Mm. Poor guy. He was really just trying to better and... Because his dad was also disappointed in him because he was always in getting into shit, you know. The killer will make a mistake. And I'll be ready. What? Okay, there's probably gonna be something that has nothing to do with it. Or they're gonna outrun her. She's not gonna find them so quickly. Oh! Still as sharp as ever, my pigtail protege. Oh! Oh my god! Fuck yeah! I really didn't think we were gonna see him. Because they were also talking about him in like two episodes ago and I was like, uh, we're probably not gonna see him in this show and here we go. Just blew into town this morning oh. and hit by a wave of Wait, so was he the one who took the pictures? I told him I had a job in Boston, but I'm gonna be checking up on you. Kind of means I need someone to lay low for a couple of days. Ah. <laughs> this place belongs to a friend. We've actually made a friend. That poor kid will be going home in a body bag. Oh. Ouch. Practically Eugene's children. That means do not eat them. Eat them? Jesus. It's called a hide. Oh, he knows more about it. In 83 during my vacay at the Zurich Institute for the Criminally Insane. That's where I got my first lobotomy. But you know lobotomies are kind of like tattoos. You can't just get one. What? <laughs> <laughs> she had it all. Beauty, brains, and a penchant for necrophilia. <laughs> Olga was a concert pianist. I love this family. I think your parents can't keep their hands off each other now. I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. <laughs> On Gold Fester. Yeah. The diary. What the fuck? Where is it? <laughs> Leave the bees alone. <laughs> it's funny that he's here. The visit to the Gates Mansion has left me with so many questions. She wrote so much already. And what is their connection to this hive? Yeah, okay, so the photos had nothing to do with the what uncle. Is? I was like, the only explanation for that is that he it must have been living in that house, but alone. he hasn't, so. It can be just as annoying and unreliable as the living. Please come back. Please. Hi, I figured you were still at Mayor Walker's wake. As soon as the dirt hits the coffin, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. So, so she misses her? Growl in your sleep, as opposed to late night cello solos. I take that out of your obsession with all things creepy and dead. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spreads. Hugo and I are so in sync that she's begging me to be her new roommate. Permanently. Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. Dude! I know Wednesday wants her back, but this is not the way. I also suppose she doesn't know another way this again and multiple people in the comments said do you know that this is a reference to like the adams family team song um but yeah i got that at first like i taught it and i don't know why i didn't say it but i taught it and i was like hmm and then i forgot to say anything about it but yeah i got it you know what your problem is you don't know do tell. Are. I literally saved your life it's always me me me, me with this guy say. right every time the monster is attacked you have been right there Starting with Rowan at the Harvest Festival, meeting house just minutes after the monster had disappeared, yet you say you didn't see it. You have drawn the monster dozens of times, yet you've never seen it. I mean, he could also be it and you don't realize. Let's not forget your own so convenient appearance after Tyler had been attacked at the Gates Mansion. 
Yeah. If I am the monster, why haven't I killed you? I think we know why. Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. What's the like? Oh, I hate this guy. He's so annoying. How long have you been working? Long enough to feel the tension between you two. Yowza! Seriously, I'd recognize the pattern <laughs> of those fingertips anywhere. Cutie. Oh, Ting is mad? Don't fuck with Ting. I've really grown to love Ting. He's like this cute pet. But we were not supposed to call him pet. How to swing your own single? Former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. Anyone willing to unlock a hide is a next level sicko. That means I'm not looking for one kill, but two. Oh, okay. So that's why there was human footprints and why body parts were cut off really clean. Maybe then it is her. When there's a falling out, I like to get both girls' perspectives on what happened. She managed to bring out a spark of warmth in you. Oh, don't worry. Just a tiny spark. <laughs> and those friendships often turn into lifelong bonds. I would rather buy a rope. Is it really so difficult for you to admit that you made a friend? Now that she's gone, you might actually miss her. Well, if that's your decision, I'll submit the forms to Principal Weems. I really hope she'd be coming back. I really liked our friendship. I mean, she's upset. Who are you talking to? I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? Oh, now she thinks he is the master. <laughs> I picked it up on my way out of town. You know me? <laughs> what? Oh, <it's> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dog ears. <laughs> oh. What? Also, is there something up with his dreams? I speak with you about Dr. Kimball. Speak of the devil. And she shall appear. Dr. Kimball, what's the verdict, Doctor? Am I cured? I have some homework I need to finish. Okay, but what the fuck is she doing with Savior? Kimbot has to be Savior's master. Chemical inducement or hypnosis. This guy. Oh my god, ew. She must have figured out he was a hard and used hypnotherapy to unlock him. That would explain the secret sessions. Mm. He's walking over. I'm gonna put him in a Romanian sleep room. Uh. Come relax. He's not interested in you. Great. Nice to meet you. Hide. I finally gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. Yeah. Oh, the dad is right behind you. I knew it. He's everywhere. Creep. You haven't seen him? <laughs> no. Yeah, he'd be pretty hard to miss. The dad is so done with everything. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. Okay, at least he's not mad at her. Also, I've been thinking since yesterday because I read about people thinking he might be the monster. And now I'm kind of suspicious about him, but I don't know. He also seems really innocent. So, I don't know. At this point, I'm just, um, I'm just seeking something behind everyone. It's not a date. It's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. <laughs> really? Yeah, I get it. With those shoes, feel you. Can you open your eyes? Oh, okay. That's pretty. Not that we're taking you on a picnic inside a crypt before. Picnic inside a crypt, nice. Oh, with movies. I usually love scary movies. Okay, she's I liking this. <laughs> what are they watching? That was torture. Thank you. <laughs> I want us to be more than friends. You'll snap out of it. Don't do that. This kind of feeling. Queen. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. I'm tougher than you think. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that is everywhere. Jesus. No, I never saw the two of you here. You got it? This guy really can do anything without his father finding out. Like, I'm still not thinking Wednesday should be in a relationship, but I mean, I think that was a pretty good date. No! No! Is he dead? How did 
you know if a hand is that? Oh. Oh. I've never rooted so much for a hand. No. No. He's gone Wednesday. No, he's not. Think. If you die, I will kill you. So encouraging. She said she'd never cry again, but I can see those tears in her eyes. Oh my god. For a minute we thought you picked your last lock, buddy. Who did this to you? He's weak. I from behind the back. Cowards. So he does see with one side. As they deserve. Shouldn't he get stitches maybe for the wound? Aww. I'll stitch you back up. You'll always be my favorite Wednesday. You should have told Pugsy that. Whoever ran my room also saw Nathaniel Faulkner's diary. Oh. I was supposed to be safe. Of course. If you need anything, I'll be right down the hall. I'm honestly, at this point, I'm hoping there's like... Or do I? I don't want her to be evil, Miss Thornhill, I mean. I really like her and I don't want to start disliking her. But at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want there to be more to her character, maybe. I don't know. Faulkner spent years studying heights. He was killed by a hive before he could reach one. Mm. Others tried to carry on his research, but they were officially banned from Nevermore 30 years ago. All of this time, we've known the monster was a hide. If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? Well, you've ever done is gaslight and obstruct me. You don't care how many people die as long as your reputation is safe. Okay, but honestly, she just wants to keep the school safe, so she might be able to help you. Come with me. I have information about Mayor Walker's murder. She does? Printed these off my dad's computer. Seems he was trying to track down someone. Laurel Gates. Looks like he started right after Rocket Shay. Or was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. Revenge on all the people she blames for her parents' misfortunes. Your father. The coroner. My parents. Most of all, never born. Huh. So I was right about this. You know who Laura is. Is it the therapist? Yeah. I wanted to return something. I found it in your old childhood room. I know you're Laurel Gates. You better decide in and out of the hospital undetected than a psychiatrist under the guise of visiting another patient. The roses you left in Eugene's room were your mistake. In the same variety I found oh. in your childhood. Delusional fantasies. I have a patient emergency. Savior? I know all about the secret sessions you've been holding in your car. I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. But oh, please, you and I both know I'll be running that place in a week. <laughs> Time's up, Laurel. She's right, isn't she? Wednesday Adams just barged into my office. Or isn't she? Or is it the teacher? Oh, I don't know. It's making me crazy. <laughs> Okay, so she isn't right. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. It felt like a really good theory. That's why I thought it could have been true at first. But at the same time, I was also like, it might be too easy because everyone has been suspecting her for a while now. Oh, fuck. This ends now. Everyone's dying suddenly. <laughs> totally not creepy at all. You left that in my room. Actually, you left it in thing. Right. Was he the one who stepped in? Wasn't in your room. Okay. I don't know. I don't like Savior, but I don't think he would step in. I enjoyed this one in particular. Feels like you really loved it. I'm well, he did say he had to dream about her dying. Are you Jean's glasses? Whoa. Are these stalker images you took of me? Don't forget your latest edition. Oh shit, she's framing him? Okay, now let's see if there really isn't gonna be any more killings because I don't know about that at this point. She's back? She's back. I'm gone for a few days. The place gets trashed. A thing almost dies. 
I just said I'm change of heart. Because we work. We shouldn't. But we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. It is like they are so different just that different. they work, you know? Thanks, Eddie. Missed you. I missed him too. I'm sorry about Xavier. I don't think I'm Xavier did it, sure. but I mean, I don't like him, so. I heard Tyler's working the late shift. Are you ready to be more than friends? Really? I feel like this show is really forcing this relationship upon us. Okay, I guess. Is that? Oh, that's the past. It was Savior! I had Did been you know? thinking it. Does he even know himself? Of course the first black case would turn out to be a psychotic serial killer monster. <laughs> I guess I have a type. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I kind of wanted to say that I saw this coming, but I also think that's only because I read someone saying that yesterday, that they thought it was him. And because of that comment, I started thinking about it. Because I was also... It was so weird. I was taking a nap. And then I suddenly woke up. And I thought of this show for a reason. And then I was like, but wait. When they had the dance and Eugene was being attacked. Was Tyler in the school then? And then I was like, I don't think he was. And then I fell asleep again. <laughs> and then I didn't think about it anymore. And now I just recall that that happened a few hours ago. And I'm like, okay, okay. So honestly, I had thought about it. It had been going through my mind that it might have been him. But also, honestly, the only person I was kind of sure about that it wasn't him was Savior. I just feel like the things with the paintings and um, then seeing him get in the car with the therapist. I still don't really know what's going on there. I think Xavier might explain that in the last episode. I think it was all way too obvious. And like, um, we had been seeing those paintings for like five, ep uh, four episodes now. It happened in uh, episode four. We saw it for the first time, I think. But like, we had been seeing that for so long that I'm like, it, it was way too obvious for it to be him, you know. He had also constantly been saying, it's dreams I'm having, that's why I'm painting it. We saw him saying he had a dream, the therapist died. That's why he painted that, of course. So honestly, Savior is the one I least expected it to be. Doesn't take away. I really don't like Savior's character. I feel like it's always like... I feel like he's always playing the victim, you know what I mean? Same with Bianca, like in the beginning, I really didn't like Bianca. Well, partly because she was so jealous about Savior like, liking Wednesday. I mean, I was like, it's your ex. Don't be so mean to Wednesday about it, it's not her fault. But mostly because Savior made me think that she had actually done something really bad. Um, and then you find out that Bianca's actually a fine character. And I'm like, dude, you're just constantly playing the victim and everyone is responsible for your pain, you know? Just deal with it. I mean, now we did kind of find out that he has mental issues, so um, I'm not gonna say that like everything should be fine with him because of course, if he has mental issues, that could also have something to do with that. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like he blames other people way too much for his problems. Also in the previous episode when uh, Tyler was scratched, I was like, we didn't see this happening and I thought it was weird that we didn't see it happening. Like, why wouldn't we see it happening? And if he was alone down there and the monster was there, why would the monster not have killed him? At the same time, I am kind of thinking that he actually doesn't know because he's really trying to help Wednesday with the investigation and all. He's been really involved since the beginning. So I honestly feel like he has no idea. I'm still trying to think like who the master might be then but i'm really thinking that's christina ritchie's character right now i keep forgetting her name i think it's miss thornhill like i said before she has just been way too nice for the rest there's not a lot to her character so i feel like it might have something to do with that that she had all these secrets you know and i was also just thinking at the dance when wednesday introduced savior to um miss thornhill that she immediately knew his name knew everything about him and then she was like yeah it's a small town and i'm like yeah okay fair it is a small town that is a good excuse but 
I don't know. <laughs> also, I really don't know how to feel about the whole romantic relationship thing. I honestly, I didn't expect this show to be romantic at all. I thought it was just gonna be about Wednesday exploring Wednesday's character. And I'm thinking like, okay, it might have something to do with exploring her character. Like she's constantly like, I'm destined to be alone. And now she's not alone anymore because there's people actually showing interest in her. People wanting to be friends with her. Um, so I do think it's interesting, but I also feel like they have really been forcing this relationship upon us since the start. Like, oh, it's this cute guy working in a coffee store and there's Wednesday, this god girl without emotions. And like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I just didn't expect that to happen, to be honest. I didn't expect her to actually get into relationships and stuff. I can't really decide for myself what I think of Wednesday being in a relationship, especially with a boy. I mean, now he turned out to be a monster, so maybe no. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to watch the last episode. I really want to find out everything that's happening. I honestly also think there's a lot that still needs to be covered. I see the episode is only like 50 minutes. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this last one. Like I said, if you already want to see it, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And then I think that was my reaction to this episode. Make sure to watch the next one. And then if you like this one, please leave a like, subscribe. And then I hope to see you next time. Bye.